Hello friends. I welcome you all to my long term review of Maruti Suzuki Swift. The car that needs no introduction. The undisputed king of Indian roads. The Maruti Suzuki Swift. I am a proud owner of this car since 2010. This is a very special car to me as this was my first new car that I bought with my own money. This is my first generation Swift. This car is 7 years old but it is maintained in pristine condition. I haven't done any modification in the exterior as I am a huge fan of its original look. This is the VHI variant. It has a 1298 cc petrol engine which produces a maximum torque of 87 bhp. It is a peppy car to drive in the city and highways. It is a powerful and fun to drive car. In this variant, even basic safety features like airbags and anti-locking braking system are missing. The ZSI and ZDI variant have a lot of safety features. When I get into this car, I feel 10 years young. This is a terrific car for keen drivers. The engine is powerful and it is a light car. The steering is very light and you can turn it using one finger. But using one finger is unsafe. When I bought this car, it was one of the powerful cars in its price range. I was so young and I drove it very rashly. I can challenge any car with this car. Even today, I can give a tough fight with it to the most powerful cars in the city traffic. Due to its compact dimensions, you can zip through city traffic like a boss. The suspension is very good and the driving dynamics of this car is best in class. The brakes are good. There is no driver seat height adjustment and steering adjustment. So it will take a little long time for the driver to get comfortable with the driving position. But the driver seat is so comfortable while driving. The side bolt string gives very good support and there is no body roll while cornering. Still the AC is in brilliant condition and the cooling effect is very good. This is the aftermarket Sony music system which sounds excellent. This car has aged so well. Maruti Suzuki are masters when it comes to after sales service and support. I am extremely happy with their service. I don't have a single complaint against Maruti in 7 years of ownership. There are only a few differences when we compare the first generation Swift with the current third generation Swift. The new K series engine is fuel efficient and light. The steering is a lot more communicative. The interior cabin quality has improved. The exterior has undergone a minor facelift. And the outside rear view mirrors in the new Swift are electrically adjustable and foldable. To make the car look big, Maruti Suzuki has added a lot of curves to the body of the Swift. So we have to be a little careful while making sharp turns and when parking at tight spaces. Else it will result in minor scratches. Also, there is a minor problem with the steering. Sometimes the steering will not recenter by itself while we make a new turn. We have to recenter it. My Swift has completed just 42,000 km in 7 years. Currently, it gives a mileage of 12 km per liter in the city and 18 km per liter in the highways. Now, let's see the service and repair cost of my Swift for the past 7 years using the Maruti Care app. I have totally spent an amount of rupees 55,633 rupees in 7 years. That is, an amount of rupees 8,000 was spent per year on service and repair. The Swift is one of the cheapest car to maintain in its segment. Whatever it is, a narrow road, a bad road, a highway or a hill, my Swift has never given up. In 7 years, it had stopped only once in the middle. That too for a puncture. Also, wherever I go, I can see a Marley service station. That gives me a peace of mind while driving very long distances alone. The Swift has the best resale value in Indian market. It has only very few cons that are nothing when compared to the fun you get while driving it. I will go a step further and say it is a flawless car. In conclusion, if you are in the market for a hard hatchback that is reasonably priced, has good performance, gives good mileage, and has the cheapest maintenance cost, 
then look no further than the Maruti Suzuki Swift. But personally, I would suggest to wait for a few months as the next generation Swift will be launched in India very soon. It looks awesome and has the important safety features even in the base variants. I cannot wait to get my hands on the new Maruti Suzuki Swift. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Please hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Also, please share this video to your friends. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Happy motoring.